Hi, I'm Lawrence Cooper at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. I just want to say a big thank you to PCRF for the help that they've given me and my program. I lead the transplant program here in Texas and we take care of some of the nation's most medically fragile patients. The children on our service have advanced cancers typically leukemias and lymphomas, as well as a small amount of other types of tumors. But these tumors rob these patients of life potential, and indeed these tumors are life-threatening. On the transplant service, we realize two things. One is that these patients are incredibly brave, and they and their families come to us expecting the very best therapies which we give them. But unfortunately, the second thing we learn is that these patients sometimes die of progressive disease. This is unacceptable. So therefore, I've worked in the laboratory with the help of PCRF to enable us to generate new therapies for these children. And this is really based on our experience on the transplant floor. Because patients undergoing bone marrow transplantation obtain a new immune system. And they can obtain that immune system from their donors. A donor could be you out there in the, in the community, or it could be a family member. They give up bone marrow stem cells, and those stem cells, once they're embedded into the bone marrow of the recipient, that young child who has cancer on my transplant service, then those cells engraft and grow up a new immune system. And it's the elements of that immune system, in particular the T cells, that then can recognize the underlying tumor and rid that child of cancer. So that background information, the sense that donor-derived T-cells can be used to improve the anti-tumor effect or to give that child life-saving therapy when all other help is lost, allows us to then say, well, could we infuse T-cells without doing the transplant? In other words, could we just infuse those very cells that destroy the cancer and not have to take the child through the process and the trauma of a bone marrow transplantation. And that's what we're doing with the help of you, you out there at PCRF. And in fact, this isn't just talk with me standing here in my laboratory thinking of something about that we're gonna do. This is actually something that we have accomplished. We've already started four trials here at MD Anderson that do just what I've been saying. They take T cells and re-educate them in the laboratory so they're reprogrammed to recognize the child's underlying leukemia and lymphoma. That laboratory trick, if you would, allows these T cells to express a receptor. We call that a chimeric antigen receptor. But that receptor recognizes malignant B cells. And the malignant B cells are what's troubling that patient. So once those T cells then are packaged for infusion and then infused back into the child, really the same way we would do a blood transfusion, those infused T cells can uh, run through the body and eliminate the underlying disease. So this is exciting times. Never really before has there been so much promise for the future of immunotherapy. And for children with cancer, particularly children in extremis who have very advanced malignancies, this type of therapy really could be life-saving. So again, on behalf of my program and my patients, I thank PCRF for all their help.